Dr. Nick here. In a previous project, we uh, created a free form for our uh, website with unlimited form submissions, and we sent the form details through to our CRM via our automated platform, make.com. Excellent. But uh, we haven't actually stopped a problem yet. What problem? Problem of spam, of robots. Uh, similar to the ones we can make ourselves. And we need to make sure that if it's a contact form, we only want humans to be contacting us. Then now the solution to this problem does exist. And in this video, we will add spam protection to our free forms and implement the protections uh, within Make. What is the solution? No. Now, if we've not met yet, I'm Dr. Nick. I've been building and sharing for over two decades. I've previously owned and sold a seven figure consultancy. Uh, and it's nice to meet you for the first time. So we have here our uh, contact form that, that you can contact me um, and, the, and the team at uh, Stark and Wayne. You'll see down the bottom, uh, sadly hidden by the subscribe button, uh, is that we've got capture turned on. It's got the additional fields that I added when we made the, the previous video on free forms. Um, I definitely wish to, to know your preferred name because I certainly have a preferred name. But what we don't have in our tutorial um, form is capture yet. But that's what we're going to add today. So let's just bring that across here. There, make that go big. Um, now, capture comes is, uh, well, firstly, let's just have a look at why we need capture. Let's pretend to be a, um, a robot. So essentially a robot, a, a web scraper, a uh, any of those sorts of tools uh, are going to be programmatically going through the web, looking and finding your form on the internet and just trying to submit it. It's very easy for it to look at the fields, figure out that there's a full name, a password, and a description box. And in there, they will make a, uh, an offer for you to buy Bitcoin um, or some other uh, opportunity. So how do we pretend to do that for ourselves so we can uh, show the problem now and then at the end, we'll show that we've uh, solved the problem. Let's have a look at our form. Um, we'll uh, view the page source. We go and look for form. We'll see here is the form that uh, we created in the previous uh, tutorial uh, about free forms. This is our webhook into Make. And it says post, and here are the fields. So if you're a, a web scraping bot, this is everything you need to know. You just need to find these, fill the values in, uh, and submit, and you've submitted it. So let's do that show what it looks like from the other side. We'll pop in that form action. Uh, the method is post. What have we got here? Full name. Bad man. And we've got preferred name. Mr. Bad. And there was an email. By Bitcoin and uh, discussion, something in a foreign, something special to buy. All right, so let's send that. That has gone through, it's uh, headed off to our, our, our thank you page. And if we were to load that up into our um, uh, click up, just find the click up for us. What have we got here? Sorry, it's going to do that on another page. Tutorial. All right. And go to our contact form. And here it is. Uh, the form has passed that through using our make uh, automation. And we've now got to deal with spam. And it's annoying. Eventually, especially if you get more spam than you get your contacts. So let's delete that. Um, as you would have to over and over again. And let's, in the rest of this video, implement capture so that we don't have to do a spam anymore. At the end of the video, we'll press this and it won't work. So, how are we going to do that? Now, the capture we're going to use in this is the one provided by Google. Um, and I'll walk through everything, everything you need to know to have to set up capture. Uh, we're going to start in the Google Cloud. You should be able to access it with your uh, normal Google login, whether it's your work one or your uh, personal or your client, pick, pick one of those and we'll search for capture. Now, there's a couple of 
uh, capture options. Unhelpful. We want, I don't really want the enterprise one. Well, that's, that's irritating. Uh, Google capture. 100% sure why they make this difficult to find. I want the one that looks like this. No, that's enterprise. Oh my Lord. Yeah. Who can explain? I'll put this link in the uh, description, uh, but we want the, 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 the capture that looks like this. Um, now, we'll give it a name because you might have many forms and, and capture, you want a different capture for each form. So we'll go uh, YouTube tutorial. We want V3, um, and I'm sure if you're watching this years from now, if there's a newer one, have a, have a try at that. Uh, I'll again be hosting this form on the, the mock website, and that is all we need to do. It will now give us a pair of keys and uh, links to some instructions. Here we are, we have some keys. Um, quickly, the site key is going to be publicly in our form, which anyone will be able to see, and the secret key is the key that uh, you will keep private, and we're going to be putting that back end uh, of our automation inside Make to confirm that the form uh, was submitted correctly by a human. Gives us two links to client-side integration and server-side integration. Client-side integration is the bits we need to do inside our inside the browser we'll be doing it inside of ghost because that's where i'm hosting it but wherever it is you put your form and the server side i think of that as what are we going to do inside make.com so a lot of this text I won't read uh, like uh, necessarily um, map it into to what we need to do so we have three things we need to copy in so i'm just going to bring this across and copy them in. Uh, there is our CSS, and here is our form. And down the bottom is our button. So we want to keep the styles, but we want to add the additional pieces. So the first thing we want to do is to copy in a script source tag, script source, and it's uh, loading up some JavaScript into our page. The next thing we want to do is uh, this chunk, pop that chunk in here. Um, Essentially, this is going to uh, capture the fact that someone's pressed the button, form the uh, generate a test value, uh, and send that test value to the server with everything else. Uh, now, it says submit the form. What does this mean? Uh, find form and submit it. So essentially, we're going to hijack, we're going to stop the button, the submit button from being pressed. Uh, we're going to let Google calculate the capture token, and then we'll actually submit everything off to the, our, uh, our make.com. So our form does not yet have an ID. This contact form. And then that value placed in here. So essentially this is saying, find me this object on the page and submit it. And so now, we need to, when do we call this? I'm explaining this to you, but essentially we're copying and pasting. The last thing we want to do is to replace our submit button with the suggested submit button here. I won't just replace it, I'll copy and paste it in so that we can two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Because so there's some bits I want to keep. So I want to keep this class, this is sort of what makes it look pretty. Um, we had the same uh, text, submit, submit, type, put that back in as well, type equals submit, and we want these new fields that Google told us about, and this value here on submit is the name of this function here, so if you haven't changed it, then you're good to go. What we do need to change is this value. Uh, this, uh, where it says recapture site key, that's the value that Google just gave us on the previous page. So click on copy site key and then paste that in there. And we are, uh, we are done. I'll just update that and quickly walk through it one more time. We added in this piece of JavaScript, 
we added in this piece of JavaScript and uh, we gave it a form name, an ID, which we set up there. And finally, we added in these uh, fields um, that Google asked us to add to our button. If we now head over to our tutorial page, success should look like you've got the uh, Google Capture icon in the bottom. Uh, if that doesn't show up, done something wrong, possibly beyond the scope of this video to fix it. But uh, we've noticed we've got two submit buttons. That doesn't look right. Didn't press update. Why do I have two buttons? Do not wish for two buttons. Um, maybe we'll get rid of tab submit. I've lost our pretty font. Makes me sad. All right, so that's outside the scope of the fixing that. But we have, uh, we have our our, uh, our thing. And so now, what we want to be able to do, what, what happens right now is uh, when we submit the form, uh, we haven't stopped anything. What will happen is an extra value will be sent to the server. So let's go and uh, set that up. So over here, this is the form that we created in the previous video. Or oh, sorry, this is the uh, this is a make scenario that we created in the previous video to capture our form. And we're going to extend this to stop uh, requests that don't pass the capture. That looks like. Let us redetermine the data structure that comes in. Okay, we'll start the scenario. And let us submit this form. Press submit. Okey and now we have our new body. And you'll see that we have a new field. These first four are the four that we implemented for our form. And this last one is new. This is the one that the Google Capture JavaScript added to our request. You don't need to know what's in this value. I certainly don't know what's in this value. The only people that know is Google on the uh, on the server side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this value, give it to Google, and Google will tell us, is this a spam bot or is it human? So let's make some space here. We now need to send this. We'll tell you what. Let's let's go back to the instructions. So we've done the first side, and we validated that we did the first side because we saw the icon, and we're now seeing this. Um, this extra value coming through, this G-capture response value coming through. So now we need to process it on the server side. Best of luck reading all of this. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things in here that uh, I'm not exactly sure who, who this is for. I certainly don't want to read it. I want you to focus on uh, this section right here. We have a URL, a method post, and some post parameters. Now, if you've done some make, this point, you'll know that what we're going to be doing here is an HTTPT module. I'm going to copy and paste this in my clipboard. What I need here is to add a new module HTTP. We're going to make a post request in the middle of our scenario out to Google. Uh, which one do we need? Uh, we will just go with make a simple request and paste in that uh, that URL that it told us to put in. Um, let's bring this over. We can read it. No, not that one. This one. All right. So it said this URL and method post. Change that to post. Now we need to pass in uh, some post parameters. We have some methods to do that. I will use multi-part form or can we do we can use uh x www form url encode um, or you could use form multi form part but that's more if you also want to upload a file we'll do this one the one of them was secret 
one of them was response secret and response two that we need uh to the two fields that we're going to pass through to google response is this value that came this is the value that the javascript on the uh the, the prospects uh, uh, browser came up with um, if it came from a bot we have this value of that the secret value is the secret value from when we signed up so we'll copy the secret key and uh, you really don't need this key after we've, we've populated it but you could also put it in one password um, for your password protecting place to keep track of it um, although actually it's going to be plain text i'm not 100 percent thrilled about it being in plain text here but it is your secret key uh, and you can you know it's, it's only to double check and of course i will throw this away later on um so we have and let's parse the response one last thing so just to recap what we're doing here we've received a request uh, over here received that request from the browser so now the browser is talking to make.com we are now going to make an outbound call to google and we are going to get a response that's either yes this person is a human or no we don't think they're a human there's shades of gray but we'll just take the boolean um, and uh, we will now check what that looks like so let's detach this for the moment or let's uh stop Let's just say if, let's just stop, all right? Do anything, there's my stop. There it is. All right, so now we'll just stop here. So let's process this form one more time. Let's refresh, fill the form in, submit the form and it has passed through so once again we've got our name we've got our response this web uh, has now made an outbound request to google it's come through we don't need the input bundle we need the output bundle and if we look inside here this key here i think is going to give us the simplest path forward uh, if this is true we'll continue and if it's false we've got ourselves a robot and we will reject them so let's just now go and check what a robot looks like. Let's start this up again. Now we'll come over to our webhook where we haven't put in any of the uh, Google. And let's just send and see what happens. Come over and it's passed through with our bad man fields. And if we come down here, it has said false. And so this is the magic of capture. Um, the capture is going to tell us whether we should just simply uh, reject this person or uh, this this incoming robot um, or maybe they've accidentally submitted the form a second time um, or whether we believe they're human or Google thinks they're a human and we should let them through. So we can use this field to make decisions now. We could simply human. If success is numeric date Boolean equal to root. There are many ways to spell true. Let's use this one. Okay, so we've added, uh, let's rename this check capture. save and let's run this one more time we will now pretend to be a robot and you'll see that it has stopped here and not injected it into our crm and we will now also not this one yeah back on our form if we do this one and submit run this sorry Miss. You see, on this occasion, it has gone through to our CRM. And so we have successfully implemented capture. You could now uh, 
also add a route such that if they're not human, we show them the contact form again or send them somewhere else. Um, you could also uh, show them the thank you page and just not add them into uh, the contact form so they think that was successful. And that's not a bad idea for dealing with bad actors. Sometimes it's best to think, let the bad actor think that they were successful so they go away. Um, so let's do that. Let us have a route. Get rid of this. Put, the, put this on the other side. So we want to clone this here. Redirect to thank you page anyway. So uh, if human, if the uh, if we were successful, it's fine. All the way down to boolean operators is true. So, uh, so this is uh, so we're on a router. So let's just double check we know what's going on. We've come back from the capture, and it's either success or not. So we're going to split the the, uh, the route of our module. If they're human, if success is true, then we will add them to the CRM and redirect them to a thank you page. And of course, in here, you could send them an automated reply email, um, welcome them to the group, et cetera, et cetera. Everything you wish to do as part of your automation can start now. If they are not human, let's just redirect them to the thank you page anyway. They're a robot. They don't need to know that we know that they're a robot. We'll just say thank you, uh, but we won't add them to the CRM and we won't start our automations. So let's check that one more time. Here is our robot. Uh, sorry, let me just start this. And so we're going to pretend to be a robot and it should come down here and activate the redirect anyway. The send tutorial thank you. The robot thinks it was successful. Um, and but nonetheless, we know that they were not successful. We detected they were a, a robot. We detected they were not human and we've sent them through a different path so that they don't go into our CRM and we don't start trying to interact with them. I, um, I really think that, that between a free form and adding capture, you've created a huge amount of value. Um, and uh, you could, of course, pay for uh, forms, uh, if they're wonderful, and uh, integrate them into your uh, make flows. Um, but I think it's a really excellent uh, thing to practice how to set up something like Capture. Excellent practice to set up your own forms and start to learn a little bit about how the web works. I have uh, lots of other things for us to share. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you do, uh, please uh, come along next time or, uh, to learn more about the wonderful world that we live in.